Fez, 14th century. In the heart of Morocco's oldest city, a young physician named Ibn al-Khatib walked the narrow alleys during a time of terror. The Black Death had swept across North Africa, leaving silence where markets once sang. Most believed it was divine punishment. But Ibn al-Khatib, both doctor and poet, dared to write what others refused to believe, that the plague spread from person to person. In his treatise MUQ NI letter 2BF, a T L S A Macron letter 2BEIL letter 2BF, a N L M R letter 1E0D L H A Macron letter 2BEIL, he described how infection followed contact and how isolation could save lives. He called for fresh air, hygiene, and quarantine centuries before these measures were adopted in Europe. His boldness, however, made enemies. Theologians accused him of heresy for suggesting plague obeyed natural laws. In the end, he was imprisoned and strangled, his books nearly lost. Yet his work survived. Ibn al-Khatib's voice reminds us that science demands not only observation, but bravery. Follow for more forgotten stories of medicine's bravest.